On Tuesday of this week, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang kicked off the 2025 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, widely regarded as one of the world's most powerful tech events. Uh, this year's show, dominated by AI, which uh, our next guest says is driving the biggest tech transformation in more than 40 years. Joining me is Dan Ives, Managing Director of Equity Research at Wedbush, Wedbush Securities. There he is. Nice, colorful shirt. Can always count on you, Dan. Thank you. Great <laughs> to right. see you. Okay, so you were you were there in Vegas, and and first I I, I want to ask when Jensen Hoang goes up on stage with a leather jacket, which I think had a little come sparkles this time around. Does it feel to you like it's similar to when Steve Jobs would go up for Apple events? Yeah, I think. Look, I, I mean, when he gets up there with the obviously the alligator leather jacket. Uh, and the Hermes sneakers, uh, you know, little step up this year. But look, I mean, as someone like myself that's covered tech for 25 years, that's the only comparison to when I would be there and Jobs comes out on stage. Apple launches, iPhone 2007, others. Because this is a revolution. And the AI revolution is being led by godfather of AI, Jensen and Nvidia. And you said you walked away from his speech even more bullish on Nvidia. Why? Because what they're talking about the next stage, physical AI, robotics, autonomous. I mean, that's the next stage because, look, this is just, this is a multi-year, a 10-year build-out for AI. We're only really in what I would say year two. And that's really going to be led by NVIDIA because their chips, that's the new oil and gold in terms of where this is all heading. And I think I left CES, someone that's gone there for decades, this is the most real CES in terms of technology that, that that's actually going to ramp for consumers and enterprises. And that's why, you know, I think this is just year three of what's going to be a five or six year tech bull market, despite some clearly white knuckles coming out of the gates this year. Now, as far as robotics, um, you believe that they'll have their chat GPT moment fairly soon. What do you mean by that and when? I think robotics is 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 going to be something in the next, like, call it 18, 24 months that's going to be real. For consumers in factories, when you look at their chips with robots, I mean, that's, that's the chat GPT moment for robotics. And I think when you look at the opportunity, that, that's an incremental trillion dollars of market opportunity for NVIDIA, as well as for other tech players. And I think... Tesla's clearly going to be heavily involved when it comes to the robotic side as well. But it shows where we are today. This is a fourth industrial revolution playing out in front of our eyes. Now, Dan, uh, you said that uh, when you were walking around CES and looking at the various booths, it was, quote unquote, just AI everywhere. So can you give us some flavor as to what it was like to walk around and some of the products that, that caught your eye, maybe, or some of the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, speculative yeah. prototypes? Yeah, and also to compare, I mean, there's times I walked around with, like, drones, refrigerators that talk to you. I mean, things that were cool but never were going to scale. This time, I mean, you look at autonomous. I mean, I think we're essentially going to have flying cars by 2028, 2029, more than prototypes. I think you're seeing a lot of that come out of China. In terms of AI, in terms of some of these use cases on health, on robotics, on devices, these are products that are actually going to be coming to the market in the next, call it one, two, three years. So I think we're really seeing now what's something that's going to really change, I think, the everyday consumer ecosystem when it comes to AI. Now, uh, you're saying that the personal computer chips are getting the AI treatment. So which are some of the companies that uh, impress you with what they're up to? Look, I think AMD clearly is, is coming out with some significant things. Of course, NVIDIA. Intel is clearly behind the game, so that, that's something that needs to play out. But look, this is really AI PCs that you're going to now it's going to start to see. And that's, that's what you saw with NVIDIA on the presentation. I think Jensen really talked about laying out the future when it comes to PCs, robotics, and autonomous. And I think... Physical AI is coming, and, and I think that's something that's very important when you look at what's really going to be 
two trillion of AI capex that's coming to tech over the next three years. Um, and just lastly here, Dan, uh, how would you advise, uh, and maybe it's not your uh, role to do this, but how would you advise investors to construct their portfolio in terms of being able to uh, access AI, but also be, be, be prudent and protect the downside? Yeah, I think you want to view it in buckets. Uh, you want to own, there's the chip plays, and you could have a diversified crew, whether it's AMD, Micron, a, you know, NVIDIA, uh, you know, and even on the value side, maybe like, like an Intel. You play the software plays, the Microsofts, the Salesforce.com, the Palantir, and others. And then there's going to be infrastructure plays that, that, that I think you could actually start to play. You know, and even on the consumer side, when it comes to names like Google, Meta, and others, I think it's a diversified way to play AI. You don't just play with a singular name. You have a diversified portfolio as ways to play it. All right, there we go. Thanks a lot, Dan, as always. And uh, we you. want you to enjoy your weekend. You too.